During this lesson, you will be required to fill out a worksheet. I recommend you read through the worksheet before viewing the lesson. In order to give you time to do this, you can use the pause button at the bottom of the screen. Learning outcomes. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to illustrate and give a definition for each of the following. A constructional heart. A superimposed heart. A chimney. A flu. A party wall. A flu liner. Conduction. Convection. Radiation. A fender wall. A sleeper wall. A soap floor. Definitions. A constructional heart. This is a heart forming part of the structure of the building located at the base of the chimney breast and is always poured from concrete. Superimposed heart. This is a heart not forming part of the structure and usually rests on top of the constructional heart as a decorative feature. So for example, if the heart was toiled. Chimney. This is any part of the structure of the building containing a flu or a flu liner. A flu. This is a passage for conveying the discharge of an appliance to the external air. Party wall. A party wall is one that divides two dwellings. Its function is to one, prevent excessive sound transmission from one dwelling to another, and two, to prevent the risk of fire spread. The minimum thickness of a party wall is 200 millimeters and it should be solid. Flue liner. This is a smooth lining, usually of fire clay, that goes within the flue to ensure the safe passage of discharge from an appliance and helps avoid any leakage from any accidental gaps that may be in the flue. Questions Give a definition for each of the following and use a sketch to illustrate your answers. Constructional heart. Superimposed heart. A chimney. A flu. Party wall. A flu liner. Types of heat transfer. There are three types of heat transfer. Conduction. This is the transfer of heat through a material. So for example, from one side of a block wall to the other. One side of a block wall to the other. This is conduction. 
convection. This is the transfer of heat through a liquid or a gas. So for example, heating water. The element heats the water and heat is transferred through the water. This is convection. The last one is radiation. This is the transfer of heat through electromagnetic waves. The waves contain light and therefore this is the fastest way of transferring heat as light is the fastest thing on earth. An example of this is the sun. The heat is transferred through electromagnetic waves from the sun down to the earth. This is radiation. Questions. Give a definition for each of the following forms of heat transfer. Conduction. Convection. And radiation. wall. This is a wall that supports the construction of heart at ground level and also accommodates a wall plate for the floor joists. Sleeper wall. These are dwarf or honeycombed walls which are built on top of the oversight concrete to carry the timber floor joists. Subfloor. This is made of concrete and it rests on top of the hard core. Its function is to support the fender and sleeper walls and to stop vegetable soil growing under the timber floor. Here we have a diagram of some sleeper walls. Blocks are placed on top of the oversight concrete with, with large uh, gaps between them, between each block that form the sleeper walls. This is in order to allow air to circulate freely all around the, the, the sleeper walls and uh, to be able to aerate all the timbers in the floor. Questions? Give a definition for each of the following and use a sketch to illustrate your answers. A fender wall. A sleeper wall. A subfloor. In conclusion, a constructional heart, this is a slab of concrete at the base of the fire rope. A superimposed heart, this is a decorative finish on top of the constructional heart. A chimney, this is any part of the building containing a flue. The flue. This conveys smoke out of the building and any other products of, comb of combustion. A party wall. This is the wall that separates houses and it should be a minimum of 200 millimeters thick. The flu liner. This is for a clay. This is a for a clay liner for the flu. Three methods of heat transfer. Conduction. This transfers heat through a material. So for example through a block wall. Convection. This, trans this is the transfer of heat 
to a gas or a liquid. So for example, heating water in a, in a cylinder. And the last one there, radiation. This is the transfer of heat through electromagnetic waves. So for example, the heat from the sun. A fender wall. This is a small wall, wall that supports the heart and the wall plate. So it supports the constructional heart and the wall plate. A sleeper wall. This supports the wall plate underneath the floor. And the subfloor, this is a concrete slab that supports the sleeper walls.